G'day and welcome to the preview. Western Bulldogs, Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. Marvel Stadium. Actually, I actually quite like Saturday night football. I, I somewhat enjoy it a lot more than Friday nights. I just feel like it is the traditional football day. Um, anyway, that's beside the point. I would, if it was on a Sunday, so be it. Um, I say this every week, but this this is a this is a really fascinating, intriguing game for us, um, and I'm I'm so glad that we're playing a team such as the Western Bulldogs this week on neutral territory, and this is probably more their home ground than us, even though it's our home game. They play more football there. Um, And I'm glad we're not, and we've already played the Eagles, but I'm glad we're not playing a West Coast Eagles this week at Marvel. And no disrespect, because no game's easy for us, but no disrespect to a Gold Coast Suns or a or a Hawthorne um, at the moment. You know, I want to play, I want to play, okay, this type of team this, this week. That's all. That's all. Um, and sure, the, uh, the Western might, mightn't be top echelon. And what I mean by that is, yeah, they mightn't be, they mightn't be in that top bracket, um, say like a, a Brisbane Lions or a Geelong or a Melbourne, um, or a Collingwood. But fuck, they're a good football club. They are a fucking good football club. And while we... Spruik and Aspire... To have su sustained su success like a, I suppose, a Geelong... You know, dynasty like Richmond and Hawthorne pre that and Brisbane Lions in the early 2000s. And while that is what we want, and that seems like fucking light years away, would it, what would it feel like just to have just a little bit of what the Western Bulldogs have able to give their supporters over the, say, the last 20 years or so. Um, maybe not, not that long, but definitely since Rocket E came in and took the dogs to all those prelim finals. And sure, they didn't get the ultimate in that time. And they dropped a little bit under Brendan McCartney, but then Bevo came along, Luke Beveridge, and then finals... In his first year was it then that grand final in 2016 one of the greatest one of the greatest efforts of all time Another grand final appearance in 2021 and all those other finals appearance under luke beveridge and geez their supporters give it to him oh my god that hasn't gone unnoticed god they give it to him talk about being ungrateful um they're good they're a bloody good football club. Now, while we aspire to be those big, 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 big teams, fuck, we should just be trying to aspire to be the Bulldogs, to be perfectly honest. Because right now we've, we've given nothing, 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 um, which makes us a joke, which makes us a joke. Um, and I'm from the West and I'm jealous and envious, envious. This club has able, been able to build, um, yeah, and they're not, they're not perfect though. They're capable of losing this game of football. They're capable of losing multiple games. They're actually capable of stinking it up. The Western Bulldogs, but fucking hell, don't they find something when it matters? When it matters. 
And I reckon that comes from their coach. And maybe it comes from the culture that they've been able to build. Maybe that chip on the shoulder culture. Um, and while he might be everyone's cup of tea, Bevo, fuck, it appears the, the players, they play for him. He is feisty, loyal, combative, aggressive, imaginative, makes changes. He's bold, he's brave. Fuck. And that shows, that shows, I think, consistently in their performance when they lift, they're able to lift. And they're a bit like, I suppose, the Aldi version of Geelong. When everyone writes them off, the dogs are gone, Bevo is gone. They just say, fuck you, we're not gone. And just like that, they're back. Um, and even last year they got in, we didn't. <laughs> oh, my God. And we were carrying on like pork chops and there were the Western Bulldogs. He just found something when it mattered. Yeah, when it really mattered, they found something. Um, and that's them in a nutshell. Um, and I don't even know what we are. I, I've got no idea what we are. Um, and sometimes I don't f even feel like our club know what they are and all that messaging this week about it wouldn't be seen as a failure if we didn't play finals this year. That just adds more confusion to us. Um, but I'm here to try and preview this game. And to be honest, um, I feel like we are. Of course, we're capable of winning it. Um, but it's not really, I mean, it has to be about that this week. And maybe it will be a start of something sustainable. Who knows? But we know it will be more than just, it has to be more than just tomorrow night at Marvel Stadium. We know that. Um, and I look through this doggies team and, They've got some genuine weapons and they're not perfect. I keep saying that they're not perfect. They have their flaws. They are capable of stinking it up and losing a game of football. Um, we just do it more, a lot more consistently than them, but they've actually proven. They've proven they are a very good football team when they are on. When they are on and they can do it on a consistent basis and they, they, they're building form. They're building form. They're building um, and I look at their record over the last, uh, you know, the last month or so, and they've won four out of their last five, and they haven't been mind-blowing performances, but there's been some changes since the start of the year when the pressure is on them. Um, they've got back to being a little bit more contested. They're moving the ball with a little bit, you know, you know, a little bit quicker from their back half. Um, and they're playing with a lot of confidence. Um, yeah, so good luck to us on Saturday night at Marvel uh, against, I'm not saying the might of the Western Bulldogs, um, but they're going to be a very, very hard team to beat. Let's go through the Doggies lineup quickly. They lose a pretty important play, but I said the same week with the Brisbane Lions. They lost Rich and they lost Zorko. Zorko, I suppose, the connector, the energizer, and Rich, the distributor down back, but it didn't seem to affect them at all because someone else just stepped up into that role. Uh, and I feel like this is what the dogs will be able to do. Someone, someone no doubt will step into Adam Trelaw's role, and he's been in good form. Okay, as that connected between the arcs because of his speed. Um, he's always been that way. They debut James O'Donnell. He's a tall. He's a tall. He's raw. Okay, is that a bit of a, you know, a bit of a risk? Maybe it is. Okay, but I look at their back half. Um, once probably a little bit of a, uh, a weakness. I'm not saying it's turned into a strength for them. Um, but getting Liam Jones back there, we know, we know Liam, we know him, uh, we know his deficiencies as a footballer. But 
what he does really well is he sets up really well behind the ball. So if we've got slow ball movement, which we have, okay, he'll just eat us up all day. He'll eat us up all day. And if we don't use the ball with any kind of method inside our forward 50, they have got the weapons, the intercept weapons, whether it is Ed Richards, Bailey Dale, Jason Johannesson, Taylor DeRay, who will move the ball with precision and speed from their back half. I can just see it unfolding. I can just see it. I can picture it. Um, and that's that's a real strength of theirs. Um, and all those guys, Dale and Richards and Joe Hennison and DeRay, who I consider one of the most underrated defenders in the competition, can lock down, can lock down, but he uses the ball so well. We know how strong their midfield is. They lose Trelaw, but they've still got McRae. They've still got Bonds and Pelly. Uh, you know, they've still got Bailey Smith and Tom Liberatore, and they had the layers. They had the layers. And then you look at that centre line, okay, and what they've been able to do there without uh, Lockie Hunter. They've been able to bring Oscar Baker in. Now, he's no, he's no superstar, but he can run. He can run and he can carry, and he's honest. Okay, now the other wing, they've brought up Bailey Williams from the back half, and he is a tall wingman who can run and use the ball really well. So I like their wingman. And then there's Smalls in their front half, Waitman, Arthur Jones. Okay, um, yeah, they've got some weapons. So let's not kid ourselves at this this opposition we're coming up with. And don't, don't forget Tim English as well, probably, probably, the most improved player in the competition and arguably one of the best ruckmen in the competition. Um, he can play. He can play. Us, well, the heat is on, isn't it? Um, we've made some changes, but I don't necessarily feel it's about the changes you make. Um, sure, had, something had to be done. I mean, Kurnow and Hun Honey couldn't, keep producing that type of performance to justify a game at this level. So we had to make changes. I like Cottrell. I don't mind Owies. Um, they will give us some energy. They will give us some bite. There's no doubt about that. But it's got to be, it's, it's, it's not around personnel. It's, it's around method. It's around method with this football team. Now, if we think we are capable, if we think we're capable, Winning this game of football. We're winning this game of football and there's no excuses. Did you be any excuses? Um, because, oh, well, if we don't, if we don't win this game of football, um, the fucking heat really needs to come for everyone on this club. And it, it already is coming. It already is coming. Um, and it needs to come really, really hard, really hard, and it will come hard for me um, because we've waited long enough, man. We've waited long enough for this team to start showing something. We've waited long enough for this club of ours to start to fucking grow up and grow something, grow some fucking balls because this is unacceptable to be in the position we are um, and the time is now, and I don't give, I don't give a stuff about the messaging around this year. Well, not so much. It won't matter, but it won't be seen as a fail. I don't care about that. The time is now, not next year. Okay, this is ain't this ain't a young group. This is a mature group now with a sprinkling of youngsters like every other team has. There is no excuses now not to be winning a game of football like this. If we think, if we even think we are on the way up, it's as simple as that.